It's so stupid, it's positively brilliant. I don't think I would ever do that unless the proceeds went to something. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, totally. Right. Yeah, I couldn't see myself like capitalizing mental on health that. merchandise. Yeah. I just that just that wouldn't seem right. Mm. You know what I mean? And it's, and it's mad people that think we were talking about it earlier. It's mad people that think people are doing this as a marketing ploy anyway. Like, oh, oh, there are. You there are so? people that yeah, man. There yeah. are some, but I, I I love like I told you, man. You you inspired me to talk about my brother, man, and and it's just a huge weight off my chest, bro. Because I was so sick of like lying. Why? What happened to, with with your Because I used to, you know, there. I, I told Charlamagne earlier. I talked about my brother one time. It was on I, Aisha Tyler's pod, and yep. I just broke down and started crying because I couldn't believe I finally talked about mm -hmm. it. And because uh, uh, you know, every time someone interviews me, they're like, you know, how many siblings? And I always just talk about my sisters, and you know, and. And then finally I started talking about my brother and now I just really want to open up about it because of, because of you. But what's wrong with him? Uh, he's got schizophrenia and he's uh, in the hospital. You and Schultz? Yeah. Come on, bro. Uh -uh. Same Z's. Schultz's brother. Yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> Schultz's brother swung a punch at me, man. Go, yeah. Did he? Yeah, Yeah. Man. He deserved it. <laughs> <laughs> he, wasn't, he wasn't crazy there. That crazy man knows something. Don't blame that, that on you. Yeah, no, right. yeah, that has nothing to do with this that multiple you, person. Charlotte. Hey, hey, right. hey, if Schultz's brother has seven personalities, all seven wanted to kick your fucking ass. They were all in the green. All of them. All, all of them. Yo, all of them were in a huddle yo, like this. So all seven were in a huddle like this. Like, yeah, yeah. let's knock Should this motherfucker out. Go you ready, it? guys? Yeah. Right. Go, yo. go. Yo, you know how crazy that is if all seven voices are talking to you. All of them are saying, punch him. Yeah, punch him. Yeah. Punch him. Yo, you know how that's true? There was All no hesitation. Of them were character. One was a professor, yeah. one's a doctor, the other one's a cop. And they were like, you know what? Let's kick this one in the dick. Oh my God, man. <laughs> 100 percent Yo, this I'm is so, so proud true. of your brother. There was no I'm so proud of your brother. You're not the only I one. I want you to bring him here more often if you could. Oh, oh. kick him in his dick. Jesus Christ. <laughs> He's gonna watch this and be like, I to right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. I told y'all. Ooh. Ooh, and all having yeah. the people in his head. Yeah. <laughs> I wish he had like a, a line too. Like when he hit Oh he did. Oh, he did. He did. Oh, what yo, he said. He hey, he leaned no, in. It's beautiful. He what, leaned is, in. what is Charlemagne's name? Oh, here. My he leaned God. in and he goes. This is God. <laughs> that was he the did? line. Oh my God. This is God. This is God. No, but think about it. What is Charlemagne's name? His name is Charlemagne the, the God, God. Right? So imagine someone leaned in and it was like, nah, this is God. This is God. And this he was right. God. Don't you try to be God. He I'll show right. you God. Well, God gotta be a little bit quicker. You know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> that's, the, that's the scene of the movie. You need to write this in the movie. Charlemagne. Yes. I'm the God. <laughs> By the way, when oh. people start screaming about God in public, oh, it's going to be done. a problem. Oh, it's absolutely. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. When people start screaming about God in public in a way like that, you might need to look, a, look be a little alert. I believe that. Be alert. Yeah, 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 100%. Yeah, yeah. 100%. My, my, my brother, when he talks, man, and I, I was telling Charlamagne earlier, it's like, he'll give you a window just a small window. He'll crack it open and be like, there's Robert. That's yep. that's my that's teenage Robert right yep. there. And I loved him. Yeah. And then he'll close it real quick on you. Is he on just medication? Like, Fuck. Yeah, he's on he's he's in a he's in a hospital. So uh he's not he's not gonna and he knows how to here's what's crazy too, Charlemagne, is oh fuck, man. He knows how to cry, manipulate cry, he knows how to manipulate the system. It's, so um, so you got to be sane to be able to do something like that. That's what's confusing to me. What do you mean manipulate like, the system? Okay, so he knows that he needs his medication and, and he knows that he needs help. Mm -hmm. So, uh, But the system will only let him in for a certain amount of months. And then the then they're going to be like, okay, he's allowed to go out into general, you know, go yeah. back out. And then when he's back out, that's when he, go cr he goes crazy. Then he has to do something. He mm. has to physically hurt somebody, steal somebody. Hey, that's that way up. the court, And then the court sends him back in. Yeah. But see, what's crazy is he knows he has to do that. He yeah. knows that's the only way he's going to get his medicine. He knows that's the best place to get food and get and have a, you know, he lives in Seattle. So that's that's a nice warm place to sleep. So he has to do that. I wonder if he knows that or if he really just can't control himself when he's I, not in that no, container. No, that's no. what I was thinking they're, too. But they're aware on some level, like there's this is the most amazing thing in the world is that even in someone who's like going through bouts of like hysteria, they're basically crazy. Yeah. There is like, a like yearning to survive still like no matter how dark you oh get, yeah you want to live 
Yep. You want to survive. Yeah, you don't want to take your life. You don't want to take exactly. your life. Exactly. And you realize, okay, if I keep on doing this, going down this crazy path, I might either take my life or I might put my life so much in danger that it might end. Mm-hmm. Where can I be safe? Hospital. Hospital. Yep. Yeah, but if, if they're in the hospital on their meds, of course they wouldn't be acting out. But if they're not in the hospital and they're not on their meds, wouldn't just the natural thing to do would be to act out? I think you start acting out more, but also like not being in the hospital is pretty anxious. Like the hospital creates like a, a pretty calm environment, right? It's almost like, you know how like people who maybe struggle without structure, they go into the military and then they can thrive because yeah. they have this structure, right? The hospital kind of presents them with that. Food is there. Everything's yeah. there. They don't have to socialize if they don't want to. Mm-hmm. But imagine you're someone who's like, you know, socially awkward and you get a little bit paranoid and you're forced to socialize every single mm-hmm. day. It's just going to heighten that. Mm-hmm. Uh, you feel more and more isolated. You? Yeah, in a lot of ways, like I think I'm, 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 I'm more socially awkward. But we're forced to be around people every day and forced to engage. People How are you every socially day. awkward? I you'll say, you'll where, say, where do I fucked go to, up I don't shit. Go, you don't see me anywhere, shows. Like honestly, outside of this, where do you see me? Wait, are you talking about socially awkward How when there's I a group of people? You? Because, oh, yeah. because socially awkward, like. When you engage conversational, uh, when yeah. you conversate with people, there's nothing awkward about you. It might be a diff- and, and it that's might... crazy because usually when you say socially awkward, that's people that can't talk or express yeah, how they crippled. feel. Yeah. Like, that's that's hard, man. I think in a lot of ways in a perfect world, I could sit in silence with people and not care. But I feel like if I'm sitting there in silence, they're going to think something's wrong because they're so used to me talking all the mm. time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, mm-hmm. you feel an expectation to entertain almost. Boom. Maybe yeah. that's it. Maybe that I don't know. Maybe it's just something. It's a but I would much rather just not say anything. I can I, I think can, I can, I can be in total silence. Yeah, you can. Do we you all voice can. your opinion? I'm sorry, Andrew. Go, go, go. Do go. you voice your opinion when you're not in this environment? Like do you is this like your your superpower? Does hmm. this make you confident when you're here like this? But when you're outside, say just out at in Central Park hanging out, can you still express the way you do? If I'm having a conversation with somebody, mm. you know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. I'm not going to just start talking to all of Central Park. If me and somebody are engaging one-on-one, but even that is odd. You know, sometimes people will walk up to you, say, what's up? And I don't really have anything else to say, but yeah. they'll be sitting there waiting for a deeper conversation. Or they yeah. might even ask me a question and I'm like, I, yeah, I might give them a one word answer. Not, not in a disrespectful way. It's just like, this is the platform for that. Like, do you feel... Mm-hmm. The need. Like you don't tell jokes all the time, right? No, no. Mm-hmm. But but I remember when 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 I'm I first. I'm funny all the time, though. Yes, <laughs> I've heard. Well, Charlie, well, man, I'm so fucking. No, I think you are, Joe. <laughs> I do. I believe in you. <laughs> I do. I do believe in you. <laughs> I do. Did you say I believe in I you? I believe in you. I do. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it, Schultz. You can also compliment. I relate. Thank I you. relate to you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for two hours. I mean, at least two, two hours. hours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will be there. So I love those you, arenas man. for you. I love you because you are so relatable to me. Um, yeah. I think. Uh, I think what happened, like when I first got guy code, and then I would meet people after I was on TV. I felt this pressure to like live up to their expectation of yeah. me. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know. Yeah. And then after that went away. I basically, there was a time where I could walk the streets again, like no one would know me. And I was like, okay, that's the difference. You know, I was like, there was a little bit of fame and then there's none of it. There's anonymity. And then, you know, once the YouTube stuff started popping again and people would stop me again, I was like prepared for those moments. And I was like, yeah, I don't have to be funny every mm-hmm. single time. Like they already know, they see that. That's fine. I don't have to prove that the person that they saw on television or on the internet is that person yeah. in real life. It's as simple as, hey, thank you, appreciate it. Maybe even a conversation. I just figured it out. Y- y'all made me figure it out. I think that I'm more socially awkward now only because I know it's only certain people who will understand mm-hmm. the conversation. Yes. Like, you know, that's why we got the group chat. Or like, yes. is it certain, like, I'd be wanting to say certain shit out loud, but I'm like, not here. Not, not, it's not yes, a safe yes, space. Yes, 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 yes. You know what I'm saying? Yes, 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 You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like, mm-hmm. and, and I know it's certain people that understand me. They know my sense of humor. They know my intent. Yeah. So if I'm saying something, they know it's not coming from a malicious place. There's only a select few of people nowadays mm-hmm. I can do. I yes. can be that around. Yes, and you know that, that becomes smaller and smaller. Yeah, yeah. man. And people yeah. be having phones out when you just be regular talking. So you know, yeah, yeah. you got to talk like LeBron and D. Wade. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not fun. You're not fucking up this China bag. No, that's true. There is like a heavy cost. There's a cost for saying the wrong thing now especially and there are people that like actively want to capture you saying the wrong yeah, thing 
Yes. So then I, I 100% yes. see your anxiety on an yes. everyday basis. But yo, there's something so refreshing. I hate those people, by the way. They're, they're the worst. I fucking, fucking hate those parasites, people. parasites, scum of the earth. But the, uh, th- there's a, what I've realized now is like, there's a real, like when you're around, how do I, how do I phrase it? By your people, I don't mean the people who look like you, but when you're around like your tribe you in try. terms of like how you can express yourself, mm-hmm. it's crazy how much energy that gives you. Yeah. When man. you stop conforming, you know what I mean? Like when you stop conforming to fit the group setting you're in and literally around the people where you get to be yourself with. Yeah. Bro, battery in my back. That's Absolutely. it. Yeah. Once a month, one dinner a month yes. with like the homies. Yes. Yes. Get it all out. I'm charged. Yes. Yep. It's like therapy. It's fucking therapy it's because like you remember who you are. You're yes. like, oh shit, I can't yeah. say this stuff. I don't have to like watch my tongue yeah. or these yeah. people understand where I'm coming from. Yeah, it's crippling to walk around every single day going, can I say that? Yeah, Especially yeah, yeah. in a business where we have to say shit. Yeah. It's not like we're, like it'd be different if we were chefs and we didn't have to talk. You just express yeah. through the food. Yeah. We literally express through saying shit. Yeah, and you know what? Even as a father, um, you know, it's like, you know, me and my wife have been together 23 years. So this is, High school, mm. the worst of me. Mm. When you know, when she started going to college, still the worst of me. Mm-hmm. So we're used to talking to each other in a certain way, but now we got these little kids around. So now you gotta bite your tongue. And, yes. Oh, yeah. like you know, and, and I'm a very when you home, you are very reactive person. Like, look at this. Yeah, but then yeah. you gotta catch yourself and be like, I'll tell you later. You know what I'm saying? Or yeah. you gotta tell it a certain way to where she gets it, but you're not really explaining it the way you would explain it if the kids were. 100 percent Yeah, yeah. So it's kind of like it's always this constant uh Oh no, I get it with you now. Filter and self-checking going I get on. It's crazy. 100%. Though. This is this is interesting. As long as I've known you, you're the type of person where if you feel something, you have to purge it. Yes. Like you throw up easy. Yes. You know what I mean? Very sensitive stomach for your thoughts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. Now you've entered a world. Not only at home, but in the workplace mm-hmm. and in regular life, where you can't just word vomit Hell or no. thought vomit like you used to. It feels like the mics are always hot. Mm-hmm. Boom! So now you're walking around with this shit inside you that your stomach has never been okay with throughout yes. your entire life. And your way of dealing it throughout your entire life was just getting Letting it out. It out yeah. So you need places where you could get it out. Absolutely. You need like the break room, you know that shit where you just destroy TVs, but you need that just for like words. I mean, that's what therapy is in a lot of ways, but even. My therapist is there for like personal unpacking of things. Right. Mm-hmm. It's the group chat, man. It's you the need- dinners, like you said, when when we when it's just us. Yeah. And we can just talk. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And and, and not me, but somebody's throwing out a maggot for old time's mm-hmm. sake. Yes. You know? <laughs> you, Why do I agree with that? <laughs> <laughs> yes. You know what's oh. funny is uh when you said how uh you're 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 uh, you have to watch your tongue now because you have kids, right? Yeah, yeah. But the most unfiltered conversation are watching kids talk. Mm. Yes. Because they have no idea the they definition of what to. they're saying. Absolutely. And they're and they're just enjoying it. It's just pure. And they're, bro. And and it's like and, and it's not until they get into like a, around working adults with fucking sensitive feelings mm. that that those definitions start becoming serious topics. But when it's my son hanging out with all different colors. And they don't know the difference between race, religion, or yeah, any of that yeah, because yeah, that's yeah. taught. All that learned behavior. Yeah, like but but when they're hanging out, dude, I sit there and hear these kids and they're laughing. I don't I don't say anything. I let them. I let them have their their kid conversations. Yeah. I remember when I was a kid, I had those conversations. Yeah, and I'm gonna let them. You know what I mean? And and that's the beauty. I mean, that's the beautiful thing. Like my like my four year old is amazing because she just don't care. But I, I think my daughter, my oldest daughter, is 11, and I've seen her like. You know, we have people at the house and she'll be like, what's wrong with your teeth? Ooh. And it's the <laughs> adult son? that everybody's teeth is Bro, that's like, so funny. Fuck? You, you just brought me. <laughs> <laughs> I love like, it. That's, you know that's I mean? your goddamn kid. Really right there. That's your kid, kid bro. <laughs> that's your kid. Wow. But it's not, it wasn't ill intent. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it was. 100%. Look, <laughs> 100%. Don't ever. That's your blood. That was all ill intent right there. What the fuck wow. is in your mouth that you call teeth? <laughs> that's the Are you going to swallow that? Or is that connected to your gums. <laughs> My dad wants to know. <laughs> and she's kind of funny. She's she's right like, I was curious. I'm I mean, just curious. There's a lot of options I know she was gonna say it. <laughs> What if she turned to you and said, Dad, I said what you told me to say. Yeah. No. God, I told you I'm purging. <laughs> now the cat's out the back. What the fuck is wrong with your teeth? What is in your mouth? Let's all oh, talk no. about this. Is that candy corn? By the way. <laughs> <laughs> 